r slash ask reddit lawyers why did that one couple call off the divorce my parents told my sister and i that they were getting a divorce dad found out about his cancer before they went through with it my mom stuck with him and took care of him through his passing attorney in south africa when i was a candidate i joined the firm when a contested divorce was finally reaching the trial date getting to trial for a contested divorce in south africa can sometimes take years due to the immense amount of expensive legal shit the parties pull on each other the day before the trial both parties decide to reconcile only only informing the principal attorney the day of the trial while my principal was angry he still had money on trust and could pay the advocates day fee well it didn't work out and a year later we get that the parties an uncontested divorce. I had to drive the client to the high court for it. My principal was done with their shit and had me drive him. And he informed me that he was meeting the soon to be ex-wife at a hotel afterwards. Turns out they could still enjoy f-king each other but couldn't stand living with each other. Not a lawyer. But this one hits close to home. Currently divorcing my bipolar wife for 13 years. Because she's in a 14 month long manic psychotic episode where she compulsively cheats with a man. That's the TLDR. It's insanely complex. I can't stand it. And it's probably the only option. To let her completely crash and burn in her fantasy. So she may start to heal. But sometimes. For a few days. The mania recedes. And she's back. And she realizes what she's done. And she's scared. Of herself. Of the disease. Of her future. And I know she loves me. And I feel like shit. Because it's like I'm putting down a sick puppy. I'm the sole learner. Because she never could hold to a job due to her BP. She's going to be fucked. Really fucked. And I really want to stop everything. But I know that her anxiety will creep back. And she'll have another panic attack and rush to him again. I would stop everything in a heartbeat if we could get that shit under control. But I feel we tried everything. Fuck that disease. My parents called of theirs twice. They separated and lived apart for about 6 moss each time. They hid the fig thing well as it blindsided us kids each time and it crushed my dad. Only time I've ever seen him cry was mom telling us he was moving out. In the end. Each time. He just caved on his position regarding the issue because he couldn't stand not seeing us each day. My sister was the result of their last reconciliation and the last 20 years has been the longest stint without an attempted divorce. Not the lawyer, they didn't call off. The woman asked for increasingly outrageous things and the guy agreed with everything. There was an agreement. And he killed her in the same night and then himself. Funny story. Not a lawyer but. When my older sister was 3 my parents were thinking about getting a divorce. They had been married 6 years at that point. They were separated and discussing details. Amicably. When one night they got cough friendly. Well as they continue to discuss divorce over the next few months my mother realizes she's pregnant. With me. So they decide to give it another shot. Spoiler alert it ends in an extremely messy divorce 13 years later. My dad cheated on my mom and then left her for the other woman. Plus a whole lot of other manipulation and mental abuse. But hey I exist so there is that. Not a lawyer. My brother-in-law's parents were getting a divorce but then decided to wait until the last kid was an independent adult before getting divorced. They didn't let the kids know until the youngest was 16. I don't think they hated each other but they were seeing other people after the kids knew. They let the kids know that they were basically roommates for the time being and that it was okay. They made sure that the kids didn't have to live two lives or pick sides. Whatever the reason was for not being together as a couple. They kept to themselves. We still don't know the reason. All I know is that none of the kids feel like it was anyone's fault. Had happy lives. And love both the parents. Both parties are happy not being together and the divorce was very clean. Mother-in-law died. This was a mixture of her being way too controlling of her son. And when she passed away. The wife just spent most of the time consoling her husband. I went to high school with a girl let's call her Abby. Whose mum and stepdad had married and divorced at least four times. They were just getting back together for their next marriage as me and Abby drifted apart. They'd been approached by numerous magazines and talk shows about it. 
It still baffles me why they didn't just keep it to a relationship rather than getting divorced Ray married each time. Making a huge deal about it. The most interesting thing I learned from this thread is that none of us are lawyers. Lawyer here. The women in the relationship decided to cancel the divorce and reunite with her husband after taking one look at me and saw how ugly I was. This made her realize things could have been way worse. Like if she was with me. Anyways they fell back in love but I still billed them for the 17 hours of work I did since I have a slow printer. When I was a kid the neighbor's dad ran off, went to get cigs and never came back. He was a rich banker type and his wife was a harried stay at home mom with three boys about my age. About 10 years later and she is a real estate agent making decent money. She lost weight. Dress is nice. Etc. Basically the MILF next door. She has a fiancé but is technically still married so starts the legal proceedings. Guy comes back to appear in court. Sign papers. Etc. And falls head over heels in love again with his estranged wife. She takes him back and dumps the fiancé. My friends. The three boys down the street. Hated their dad for leaving and couldn't believe their mom took him back. The fell in love again and did not want to lose the marriage streak. Well. There was this one couple that was 100% set on a divorce. They were arguing about who would get what and what would happen to their kid and the dog. They decided that the kid would move from house to house every year. Because the dad was moving far away. Then they look at the dog. They both loved the dog more than anything. The one problem was the dog couldn't go in planes. The dog brought them both back together and from what I heard they didn't argue again. My grandma's parents divorced when she was 4. Her mom took her to Denmark to live with her grandparents and her. My grandma grew up. Came back to the US. She was still a citizen and started a family of her own. Her dad apparently got remarried and had 4 more kids. When the first 3 of my grandma's kids were in high school. Her mom came back over to live with her and my grandpa and help with the kids. Eventually. After nearly 40 years. My great grandpa was so disillusioned with his new family. He left them, all kids grown, and remarried my great grandma. They lived together happily to their mid 90s and died 8 months apart. My great grandma was still kicking. But the doctors said she was so sad after he died. She just let herself go. She basically died of a broken heart. This doesn't quite answer the question. But man, is it a weird one. P.S. My most of grandma's half siblings hate her for no reason we can figure out. Couldn't afford a lawyer. Not a lawyer. But I heard from one of my colleague that one of his friends who have a neighbor that only married few months ago decided to get a divorce because the husband was accused of cheating. Not to worry though. It seems to be just a misunderstanding on the wife's side and they end up together again. Our classic Reddit. Not a lawyer but. Not a lawyer own parents. My dad was cheating on my mum with a co-worker. Simple as that. My mum was taking a while to sign some forms when my aunt called my mum to inform her that wedding invites had gone out for his marriage to my now stepmom. Edit. Totally doesn't fit the thread. Read title at 3am. I'm an idiot. How tf are people upvoting this without any replies? Now either. But my husband and I filed for divorce around year 7. 7 year itch. But after decided to try counseling. It actually really helped and so life went on. About a year later the divorce attorney we jointly filed with called to ask if we wanted to come in to finalize the paperwork and finish the process. We had completely forgotten about the paperwork and such and yes the lawyer was both happy and surprised that we decided against the divorce. Took a little while to get the automatic child support situation straightened out with the state though. I stopped doing divorces in the 90s. Gotta be soulless scum to do it. Divorce lawyer here. Seen a few reconciliations over the years. Couple of cases I've seen. Husband completed rehab and was fully committed to sobriety. Separation where one party was living in a Marriott suite for a month. Not securing own residence. Just too hard on the family going through just that transition. Much less an entire divorce. 
two parents realizing that they couldn't put the kids through the process of a divorce at that time. Two elder parties who just realized it made no financial sense to be divorced, taxes, health insurance, etc. One thing to definitely make clear is that lawyers, for the most part, are actually happy to see two people not get divorced, especially if there are kids involved. Yes. We don't get paid as much. But there's always someone getting divorced. As a divorce lawyer you accept that you traffic in human misery and sometimes it's just nice to see people staying together. Reconciliations, when it's for the best, and adoptions, those are the best parts of the job. Not a lawyer. But my absolute cunt of an uncle announced his intent to divorce my aunt, who is just horribly stupid and incompetent, when my grandparents said they were going to move to Arizona. Part of that was their desire to be near my other aunt. Who was just starting to have kids 15 years after the rest of her siblings. The other part was that my grandfather couldn't handle winter in our state anymore. It aggravated his arthritis so bad he could barely move. My uncle couldn't stand the thought of not being able to emotionally abuse my grandparents into free childcare and whatnot. He was hoping to stop the move with it. When they moved. The divorce was suddenly forgotten and they went back to pretending they were the perfect couple to try and lord that over everyone. The problem with that, of course, is that my family is full of couples that genuinely love and support each other and absolutely nobody buys into their bullshit. Not a lawyer. But my parents fully planned on getting divorced back in 2014. My dad racked up 1600 in credit card debt on stuff for his hobby. Then stole the credit card. Flew halfway across the country for a work conference which had nothing to do with his job and he wouldn't get reimbursed for. And there's a lot of evidence suggesting he cheated on my mom the whole time he was there and before he left, he denies it to the grave and my mom believes him. But we're almost certain he did. He was trying to talk to hella 19 and 20 year old girls on Facebook. And just in general made a ton of shit decisions. My mom almost divorced him. But I think she realized she couldn't support herself on disability. So they stuck it out. They're both doing a little better now. But there are times when I'm over there where you can see a little bit of venom left in how they interact. Not a lawyer. Was helping a friend of a friend move out as he was leaving his batshit crazy GF. We're loading furniture and appliances onto a flatbed truck and get to one of those big screen TVs. This was the 90s. When they were actually big boxes. We stopped to try and figure out the best way to move and strap this thing down on the truck. The idiot goes to call the company that made it. For their advice. While he's up there. GF's father stops by and convinces him to stay together. He even throws in the down payment for a house. While unloading the truck. The rest of us could not hold back our laughter. They got married. And divorced about two years later. TLDR a big screen TV. Everyone here. Not a lawyer but. He died. Dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign. Weirdest one I ever saw was the wife used filing for divorce to leverage the husband into agreeing to let her start a photography business. Husband got served. He relented. She started her photography business. No more divorce. My parents called off their divorce to try and stay together for the kids until my dad found out my mom was cheating and then proceeded to have a messy divorce. I did family law for a while and one client that stuck out was this chill rasta guy whose wife was divorcing him because of his many affairs. Now. This couple were in their 70s at the time so I thought it was a bit weird that she waited so long. When we got to court we had to wait a few hours for the hearing. My client and his, soon to be, ex-wife spent the whole time cuddling and joking with each other. They were obviously still very much in love. After the hearing I talked to him about it and he told me that they weren't really divorcing over the affairs. Both of them had had lots of affairs throughout the marriage and they were in a quasi open relationship. No. The reason they were divorcing was that he had gotten busted for possession too many times and because of this he had managed to rack up a bunch of debts and pending criminal matters. They had decided that if they got divorced she wouldn't have to worry about his debts and he figured he could delay the criminal proceedings by reason of family hardship. Possibly until he died. I don't think their plan holds water but it was what they wanted to do so we helped them through a very amicable divorce. 
My dad told me a story when he was a lawyer. The couple decided to call off the divorce because the husband was touring Afghanistan and he had been wounded by a gunshot to the leg. They originally tried to have a divorce because the husband had been secretly cheating on the wife. B-U-T-T-T-T the wife forgave him and when he got shot he got extremely worried and now they are living happily. I love humans. Tag me if this blows up. I'm genuinely curious. My aunt and uncle recently decided not to get divorced. He's legitimately crazy and on his fourth wife. She doesn't speak any English and is with him for his pension. This divorce started because he ran up a large amount of credit card debt buying worthless art at auction. He wanted to mortgage their shared house to pay it off. But she wouldn't sign for that because it would just make a bad situation worse. Thus he wanted to divorce her for not signing and she wanted to divorce him to secure her half of the money from his antics. They recently decided to call it off. Though. My uncle's logic for calling it off was that he doesn't want to pay the lawyer's fees. He doesn't really care about losing half his money. But he's not willing to give a cent to the lawyer. My aunt's reason was that she realized she's 13 years younger than him. And that she could just outlive him and get all the money. So. They remain unhappily married. Can you help me my dad and mom might be getting a divorce but I don't think it will happen but I need some advice. Because I talked them out of it. It's happened a few times. Huh. Doing something is different. She killed him. I'm not a lawyer but it's a friend's family who called off the divorce because someone told them it's bad for their child and they should put up with each other for another decade. Both of them had Connor's best interest in heart and 16 years later they still love each other. Not a lawyer. Is your wife a golden retriever? Ran into each other at a secret bouquet cake party, twice. I just want to know. Did they plan that? Not a lawyer. But my parents called off the divorce after they realized how expensive everything would end up being. So they just said fuck it and stayed together. They're better now. Here's a story from my dad's side. Wife and husband were to divorce. But wife vetoed that idea and made sure that if hubby goes with it. He's going to be sucking dick for a place to crash as the wife supposedly said. Husband was in relationship with another woman and was going to divorce the wife to get half of her wealth so he could go with his mistress. Husband doesn't have a job and is pretty much fucked at this point because he became complacent and arrogant. The funny part is that all the kids. From the husband and wife and the husband and mistress get along great. The mistress started working for the wife and stopped her relationship with the man. So now. The husband has to deal with his wife and ex-mistress being besties and the kids all being good friends. Everyone gangster until good goes and does a fig tree incident again. Time for my favorite reddit abbreviation. Enol. Literally not one of the top 10 comments fits the criteria. I may not ail or yeah be at. Can mods start deleting the not a something posts? This is getting more ridiculous with each thread. Because the husband was using wife's comb even after wife gave him one extra. Edit colon I'm not joking guys it was real. Stop giving me down votes. Expecting to read all not a lawyer but comments. Jesus this needs a serious tag or something. Too many not a but comments. Lawyers attended the majority of causes divorce. So only. Dude. That's not even a question for lawyers. Listen. They have their reasons. I'm just here to work. My parents never got married and I'm not a lawyer. But they have ended it and gotten back together multiple times so I take absolutely no notice anymore. But I think they are in a codependent relationship and I just can't see anyone getting together with either of them. Not a lawyer but my parents called off their divorce. I'm pretty sure they weren't all that serious about the divorce in the first place. But my dad left in the middle of the night after an argument. We were having money problems so they fought a lot but I don't think either of them ever left the house until this point. He stupidly went to stay with his much younger. Attractive student. Both adults. My dad had taught her for years at TAFE. She and many other students of his have close relationships with my parents. My mum took this as a personal assault and confirmation that he was cheating so started the divorce process. My dad got an apartment. 
they both struggled even more apart. My brother had a school performance and they both came. Reconnected. He moved back in that week and got out of his lease. They dropped the divorce. I was pretty young so there was probably a lot that went on that I didn't see. But it seemed to me very hasty and not thought through tbh. X4. Fucks me. I only do pie. Actually, everyone is not perfect there is always imperfection in everyone. But when a person wants the only good quality that creates problem. Second big reason for divorce is, the couple keep their relation till sex. They have no understanding. They have no emotional relation. My parents called off their divorce. My mom didn't make enough money to take care of the kids alone. She would have had to move us all back to our home country where she would have had family help. My dad didn't want to lose me so they stayed together. In the end they divorced 10 years later. Not a lawyer but an assistant to a family law attorney. Had a call yesterday from a woman looking for a divorce. But was unsure how to go about it. Her husband has traumatic brain injury and therefore can't sign any legal papers himself. The reason she wants the divorce though is so that she can be paid for taking care of her husband. Apparently she can't be paid as in home care while they're married so she decided to jump on the divorce train. Not a lawyer. My parents called off their divorce 3-5 times over the span of 10 years. I wanted them to split up because it was obvious they aren't meant for each other. My mom's reason for not going through with it was a typical stay together for the kids scenario. Although her and I had a rough relationship during my teenage years and one of the times she told me the divorce was my fault. My dad's reasoning, as we found out later, was a lot more messed up. Each time he asked for a divorce it was because he was cheating and tried to leave my mom for the other woman. But every time the woman would reject him and he would go back to my mom. It was a different woman each time. They did finally divorce when I was 17 and it was messy and traumatic for everyone involved. But things are significantly better now that they are not together. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily awesome videos. Feel free to like the video if you love it, and comment down below for suggestions on the next video.